Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with another Paladins video of playing some Nick today, but not with the way that I've played her the most on the channel, and that I've definitely played her even off of the channel most often, which is the damage range or the slow setup. Instead, we're going to be running her with the F, Royal Presence sort of Poison Aura. There's definitely a better name for it, but I think Poison Aura actually works the best. The main card is the extra range. You don't actually need to run the extra damage. It is really important, but in some matchups, you might be better off with the health or the speed. It really depends. I just run one version for the sake of keeping it simple, whether I want to slow the enemy or if I just want to have range or if I want to have the F. But I've seen people definitely run variants where they don't have this because especially against like non-tank teams and depending on just what's going on, you might want the health or the speed instead. That's what I wanted to point out for the intro though and I wanted to really revisit this setup. For some reason, I'm just really wanting to play Nyx lately. I've seen him a decent amount in my matches. He seems to be doing pretty well and is relatively popular. Talent-wise though, is the only part that really I think she's struggling with at the moment. These all feel kind of... Eh. All right, so for game one, I don't know why IO is so small here. Seems like we've actually got a pretty good scenario for it. Siege, Serpent, Beach, Ash. We've got an IO, then a Vatu, and a Drogo. It versus Double Tank, Azan, and Fernando. That sound effect always throws me off when I'm not clicked in. It's so loud. But then they have a Ying, Victor, and an Eevee. I hope I'm not the only person that gets like just blasted by that sound effect sometimes when I'm not tugged in. I don't even know what I clicked out to. Here are the matchups for you, though. He's actually going for an Aegis setup. I don't know if I go for a record account of that. Guardian with the full shield setup is going to be a massive pain, so I feel like I kind of need to, but... Maybe tankiness is actually the better play than just kind of ignoring the shield. Persistence, burst mode, wormhole, life exchange, lifelink, unearing, worm jets, and slug shot. She's going wrecker. I guess I do wrecker. I'm going to do armor plating. I feel like that just makes more sense. I'm going to do damage reduction and hope Ash just deals with the shield, but that's going to be a really big pain, and I probably am going to regret not getting wrecker. We'll see. Lay up the right click, lob that over there. Going to try and play a little bit more forward. That kind of work. There's an F. This is my role. Is I'm going to try and push in with the F and hopefully just not die. Fernando's gone. I don't know why he was there. There's a hit on the Azan. I think he was trying to push there, but uh, yeah, there we go. Rip to the Vatu. We're going to clear him. I think there's a Q. I was a little bit slow with that. I should have used that way earlier because I could have got two off in the same fight. There's uh, just big punches. F, right click. He's just getting way too much healing from the Ying for me to be able to do anything, but I was covering me too, so I suppose it's fine. We're just going to keep distracting two of them. I think that's sort of worth. We were on the point a little bit there. There's a right click for him. There's another Q as well. I'm going to go for the ultimate. Seems like a weird place to use it, but uh, yeah, there's a stun. Don't know what I'm doing here. Just playing a bit of a weird angle, but they're all kind of low behind the Fernando a little bit. I'm dead. Not getting any heals. Eventually, we're gone there, but I actually just can't win that fight if they're playing properly. There's nothing I can really do there. We grabbed a bit of Rejuvenate, which I think makes sense. There's a right click there. There's an F. We are getting some pretty big tick damage on it. I feel like 1v1 versus the Azan. I'm in a pretty good spot. The Ying did also ult. Stand in the heal a little bit. I guess I go for mine here. They're all kind of close. Maybe we'll pull two. That's a two man stem. We also got the Ying actually, so she should be gone. Um, there we go. Nice. Three man stem with the Nyx ult. Not bad. I probably should have thrown the Q. I don't know why I'm ignoring the Q. Yeah, I should have grabbed Kronos. Kronos is really important for this. For some reason, I just forgot. Uh, throw that there. Just kind of punch down on him. Uh, I guess we'll just try and annoy the Fernando. His shield surprisingly hasn't been too bad because, like I said, we can just kind of ignore him. And if he's standing there with a shield up, he's not really doing anything to the team. So that's sort of fine. He's not like placing himself in good spots for the shoe. I just deployed my Q for some reason. I thought I had it. Pop the ultimate, maybe catch him here on the side. I think Azan ulted there. I might be dead. IO heals. We're still up. There's a Q. Tried to save it. Fernando is so low. I think damage is the problem at the moment on our side, but I'm not 100% sure. I think their sustain is just kind of crazy right now because of the yeah, double tank. Azan, Fernando, plus Ying. It's just kind of gross. I think we could do one more damage up on our side, though, is what I was trying to say. I was doing massive work with the heals. I think my damage up has been pretty good, and the Ashes has been too, but I'm not cheap sure. The Ying heals with the double tank here is just kind of insane. We can't really deal with it. Victor's just melting some of them. Uh, there's the F. I don't know if I should even be bothering to punch at the tanks. It just feels kind of pointless sometimes. We're going to have to retreat. Jogo's running in and just dying for some reason. But uh, yeah, it's kind of hard for me to explain. I do like the skin effect. So I don't know if I've covered this skin recently on the channel, but it does look pretty cool. Very different to uh, normal Nyx. We'll set that up there. Throw a right click at the Ying. I feel like she's kind of free in this one, but no one's really going after her. Yeah, zero three, kind of tough. There's the F. I think we're fine versus the Azani. Missed the F. He should just be gone, right? I'm on, like no health here whatsoever. Pop the ultimate here. See if we can get a bunch of them in. That was a bunch of Ying decoys and the two tanks, but it's not really going to do very much. I always healing for a ton. Joker's only bought like one item and then buy anything else for some reason but double tank and ying on their side is kind of crazy i feel like playing versus fernando on aegis here instead of like just damage is way easier if he was going for scorch right now he'd be so much more of a pain issue hasn't been too bad uh, victor's just been free ying has two to be honest i'm gonna go for the ultimate here i'm dead anyway but yeah there we go there's the defeat i don't know really what i could add on top of that that you wouldn't have seen from me just playing but our damage was surprisingly goddamn decent there i didn't realize i was doing that much the ticks must have really been adding up we req and yeah do game two ash had a bit of a hard time she should have had way more damage there i don't really know what's going on um, shouts out there to that was our Drogos. Had a bit of a hard time. Shouts out also there to that was our IO. She healed for a ton. I feel like we just weren't dealing damage. I have 90k and somehow that's the same as like our Ash, Vatu and Drogos combined. I don't know. Like I said, the two tanks, Fernando and Azan plus Ying, they're kind of crazy. He wasn't even doing very much other than just playing the objective with a shield up and we couldn't really go through them. Victor and Eevee putting in work. She didn't even die once there. All right, so for game two, another sort of good scenario, I think, for it. We've got an IO Barrack. I think this does work a little bit better with double tank, but it
and then Voret. I read it outright, and no show of force, and then the same Zeb, I think, is the play here. This technically counters as Makoa's ultimate pretty hard, because the tick's based on max health. For the chance here, though, Fortify Swing and Dagger should kind of help, especially if it's got speed on it. God's the best thing exaction. Sand Trap's kind of annoying, half shell, and yielding catalyst. And extension's gonna run straight on the point. I throw the wall. I'm lucky I didn't get Makoa hooked there. I don't know if my Q even went out. Um, I guess it didn't. I'm pretty sure I hit it. Like, I think I even saw the animation. I'm going to pop the F here and try and push up a little bit. Probably a bad idea. I definitely should, you know, have vision with the IO and the Sky. I don't know what I'm doing playing like that, but it kind of worked. I'm trying to stay here with the Luna and, like, the Sky Smoke, but you definitely want to get Nimble with this. Hello, Sean. He's kind of on his own here. I think we can sort of deal with him like that, but... Yeah, you want to be able to push up with Nimble, you want to get Chrono so you can spam it more, you want damage reduction so you don't die, and you want Rejuvenate so you get more heals. You need all the items. Obviously, you don't always want to grab those exact items I just said, but items are super important for this, as is, of course, the build. Seems like we kind of shredded them there, though. It didn't really feel like it. I was constantly low health. That was a pip ultimate. I guess we can get him cleared here, but uh, yeah, team massively covering me there. Sky with the speed was super useful. IO2. I was playing way too aggressive, but didn't get punished for it. I have to give these guys props. We're going to queue here. Do have to give massive props again, though, to the Sky and the IO. These guys have healed me of like a ton. Sky auto, don't even know where that was. I'm going to try and push the pip, pop the F here and try and get rid of him because I have quarter eyes but that was still a pretty big heal Ray ulted um, throw that there maybe catch her that didn't really go very far I feel like the right click never goes far enough right now for some reason pop the F it does kind of act as a reveal I'm right in the middle of him here big ultimate um, that kind of worked there's a Q do I try and go through this Makoa I think we actually can because that tick is pretty beefy 24 um, yep he's gone nice right click there they actually pushed up a little bit too much because they were kind of hoping I guess he would tank stuff I don't know, Makoa didn't even really pull too much attention away there because everyone's just full health. We'll push him. Nyx really does feel sometimes like a force to be reckoned with. There goes the pip. Sometimes, especially with a team like this, if you've got two healers and another tank, you really can play like a damage and absorb a ton and be super annoying with the F. Makoa missed the hook again, luckily. It's the second time, I think, or third. That would have just been instant, I think, if I got hooked. Big F and a right click too. Pip, sell the ultimate, I think. I'm dead. Again, I'm a little bit too pushed up. I'm trying to play aggressive because we've got a team that works for it. Barak used his ultimate. Sky said we got this, I believe. We'll go for, I guess, more armor plating and nimble. I don't really feel like I need more Chronos here. I feel like I just need more damage reduction and probably let's get rejuvenate instead of nimble. I think that makes more sense. Pop the F here, try and push in on the Makoa. I feel like I should also have CC reduction, but I don't really have space for it. I'm going to go for the ultimate on just the IO. This is a really weird play, but she's just gone, I think. She went for the ultimate. Surprised that she actually managed to get that off. I think she's still dead, though, right? Um, I don't know if I can actually push her enough here to clear her, but I think I can. Guess I wasted the IO, but I feel like I also didn't need to use mine there. I don't know. Pips are really, really low. Uh, throw that there, hit him. There we go. Finish him off. He's so low. I feel like as Nyx, if I just play properly, I can really easily solo people but sometimes i'm just a little bit out of place and not playing with the team enough i don't know what that camera was on sky that's another solo pip ultimate i'm dead i was just about to say, let's try that one again but i was dead before i could even say anything the pip just ulted me and i'm just gone which makes sense given that scenario that was a solo that made sense but don't know how we got zoned so hard there or what even really happened in the first round but i'm gonna try and get in there with the barrack i think he's just buying time but i know makoa saw me but i thought i'd be able to get in and maybe just annoy them enough here that didn't really feel like i did much that's all on screen and my game's crashed Okay, that's Paladins just being Paladins. Too much stuff happened in like a little short time and the game just gave up. All right, well, I reconnected. It's a 1-3. I thought they fixed this with the item store, but apparently not. I have to run out of the item store and rebuy the items like at a time and then it refunds me the credits to be able to progress them. That was a really bad explanation, but you see what I mean? I've got my credits again because I have to, you know, run back into spawn for it to trigger that I've got the items again. It doesn't work the way you just expect it to naturally work. And that wasn't a problem with the old item store, I don't think. That was just when they changed stuff. Probably shouldn't be firing into the Makoa shield for no reason. Uh, hello, Pip. This is kind of free, I think. Um, my F went up, right? Yeah, it is up. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure because it didn't feel like it went out there. I didn't see the animation enough. Couldn't get rid of the Charlin. Going for the ultimate here, just trying to pull them away a little bit. That didn't really work either. There's a Q. We got the Makoa roll out. I don't have my F here. Um, I'm just in the middle of like all of them. I feel like we kind of had that. Vor just auting the barrack, but we got recovery mechanic to 99% trigger the overtime i'm going to try and buy my items again that one actually counted but i don't know now because i didn't mean to do that which ones i had and which ones i don't have which is even more of a problem let's push the ray the four is there on nothing can i finish her off with one last little punch out of range as a q it's lost all my health but i am ticking them hello charlin i don't know what the hell he's doing like that we've got enough time actually shouts this io she's putting in work wait for the shield and now I'm trying to push in get rid of either of these two would be kind of huge i think mako is just gone nice i'm surprised that we got back in and made that work i don't know how but I think that Shalhim pushing up really aggressively actually made a really big difference there. And uh, the Ray's been kind of free in this one. I haven't been able to finish off and it's really annoyed me. There we go. Finally. Man, that's satisfying. Let's get rid of the Shalhim too. Nice. Like I've tried to say a ton of times in videos, Nyx has got to be one of my favorite champions. Even though I don't play her an insane amount, I always have so much fun when I'm running around causing a mess. Do I go for the ultimate? Yeah, sure. Two man stun. There goes the Makoa. Um, yeah, I guess we also got the Nyx in that too. That was actually kind of a huge ultimate. I thought it was going to be really bad, but let's push the point because for some reason it just got left behind there. I feel like we would have had that because we had a ton of time. Maybe not. I don't know how much we missed there. Don't know if I want to stay here on this left side. Feels kind of weird. That's a Makoa hook. I'm trying to just get in the way to block damage and stuff. He's so low. Ray ultimate. Right click on the Pips Noggin. That's an all. I think we're fine. I'm in such a weird 
good spot. I kind of sneak in under people's feet here. Don't know what I meant to do here though. I'm just dead. Was that a solo pit bull? Did you get other people in that too? I'm not sure. I always underestimate the range of the pit bull. So yeah, now I have to work out what do I need to buy. I need to rejuvenate one and Haven will buy them and then go back in. There we go. Now I can finish off and actually buy items. It's so jank. I hate it. I thought it was fixed already, but let's run back in. I was going to go for a flank wave. I think playing with a team here makes more sense than just trying to be the front man with like the F up. Uh, maybe catch them by surprise. I think the Mako is kind of out on his own here, right? I don't know where I'm punching, but he's gone. Vora is kind of out on her own here too. She's going for the ultimate. She's out. I think this is actually going to be a pretty decent push. There's a right click massively on the pip's face. There we go. 3-3. Three, three. Managed to push through with the full force of Nyx. This setup feels great. I really do like Nyx, like I said a ton of times already in the videos. She's just so much fun to play, especially with this setup in a match like this. But anyway, in we go. Final round. I'm surprised Richie managed to save this game because I thought it was just kind of over. But uh, yeah, the reconnect actually ended up not making too much of a difference. I'm going to just play with the Makai. Pop the F kind of early. We managed to zone him. He's sort of on his own. Sort of the perfect time to try and go through him. He's going for the ultimate. I'm going to go for mine to stop him from pushing in, but that was a waste. I thought they were going to go in way harder than that, but they just didn't. Definitely thought they were going to go in way harder than that. That was a pretty big right click, but I'm in a really weird spot. It's just me and Barak, right? The healers are already gone. Yeah, the fight's over. Kind of thought we were going to have that, but for some reason it just didn't come together there. There's the F. That's a pit bull. I'm dead. He has solo to me four times. I'm not mad because it's actually a solid play, but I don't really think I can counterplay that in any way whatsoever, which feels really bad. Like, I just run into the bib. He ults me. They burst me, and I'm just dead. There is the defeat. I don't think the DC really mattered at all there, but... Yeah, I think they do deserve the win. They play a little bit more like a team. We had some really good team fights and some really good moments. I think Knicks felt great to play in some of them. But yeah, I could have done better. And it was very back and forth. I think they pushed a little bit harder than we did there. 14, 13, 122k. Super happy with that. The damage number is massive. Especially considering I crashed for at least a couple minutes there for one of the rounds. And yeah, as I sort of suspected there, Cassie was the weak link on the damage side of things. She should have done significantly better. She had the same damage as the IO and the Barrack. Barrack's damage is also kind of low, but he played the point a ton and she would have done. IO healed for a ton. Sky kind of did both, but... Yeah, damage should have been a little bit higher, I think, on our side. As is kind of ridiculous. The setup really did work. Same sort of thing for their Makoa, but Charlene did great damage. So did the Vora. The Ray healed for a turn, and Pip was also super annoying. They definitely deserve the win, you can see from the stats. Don't really know what else I could add here, but this was a great showcase for Nyx. This went significantly better than I was expecting it to. To be honest, we had a really good matches for it, and I think I played it sort of well. I like Nyx a ton, like I said. And I highly recommend you go out and give her a go, specifically with this setup, if you've only played the other ones, because it does play quite a bit differently. That is where I'm going to leave it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Definitely let me know what you want to see me do next and your thoughts on next down in the comments. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.